Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I'm glad to see that the last amendment was considered germane. I, I think that the members will find that this is, you will as well, Mr. Chair. Uh, it, this is kind of an amazing discussion that's going on here this afternoon, a debate in the Judiciary Committee uh, about a bill with, with members on the other side of the aisle admittedly saying that this is very tightly focused and we're only aiming at controlling human trafficking in and around school zones. When there is a absolute pipeline of narcotics and teenagers and kids that are coming across the border on a daily basis. And a lot of these, a lot of these people are being trafficked not in school zones, but in truck stops, and in strip clubs, and in drug houses around America, being handed over directly to pimps that are part of the cartels on both sides of the border. So whether it's coming out of McAllen or the San Diego sector or wh whomever you talk to, whether it is Border Patrol or Homeland Security, it's an absolute pipeline of narcotics and kids coming across. And yet, we're sitting here having a discussion about ignore that, look the other way. Pretend that that's not happening at the border after this committee specifically has brought it up again and again and again in every hearing with a discussion, a full discussion about border security. Where do you think these people are coming from? Homegrown? This is all a homegrown issue? This has nothing to do with what's coming across the border? That's unbelievable that we're having this discussion today in this format. And then, Mr. Chair, I mean, for you to say this goes beyond, that Mr. Big's amendment goes beyond that. It's too broad. It goes too far. Are you kidding me? That's the problem. That's what we've been talking about for the last year and a half. How do we get control of the border so that we can get control of the narcotics, so that we can get control of the human traffickers and the cartel? That's what this bill should do today. This amendment that I have before the committee will increase the punishment for sex trafficking of children by entering the United States illegally, as described in 8 U.S.C. Section 1325. That is what needs to be done. So you can all pat yourselves on the back and say, this is an awesome bill. I can run on this bill back home. I can talk about, listen, I stopped human trafficking in the school zone back home in my district. With complete disregard for all the individuals that are coming across the border on a daily basis. Turn on any news channel, turn on any 24-hour news channel, and what you'll see are live shots from the border. Is it just adults? Is it just adults coming across? No, it's kids. It's kids. And a couple of members of the other side, you got, you got dangerously close to admitting that this doesn't address that. It, it's unbelievable to me that we're having this discussion without addressing the real issue, which we have been pounding on and, and bringing up on a regular basis, specifically in this committee. If, if, we, don't, if we don't address this here, I'm not sure what it's gonna take but like I said earlier, there are all kinds of pockets where these kids are being exploited. There's a pipeline. It comes directly out of the western states. It goes through Denver. They jump on I-90, I-94, I-35, and they end up all over the United States, these kids. But guess where they come from? We know where they're coming from. They're coming from the border. And this Judiciary Committee will not do anything about it. And the idea that you would have the guts to bring up a bill 
and dance so close to the real issue and then pretend that, it's, that it doesn't exist is unbelievable to me. I yield back. 